Okay. Is it recording? Yeah. Hair. In my mouth. Okay. Who knows? Crazy as life goes. That we'll write a story. We tell to a very own. So let's live. Lost in the moment. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Motorhome Monday. I'm Jonathan, she's Lynn, and we are Create and Capture Life. This week we are just going to do a simple showing you some of our favorite things that we've purchased for the RV so that if you have an RV part-time or full-time, these are some space-saving, security, different things that we like that we've bought for the RV. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do these in really no particular order. Uh, we're just going to kind of start with the things that's uh, within reach and then move to the things that are kind of out of reach. So uh, the first thing that's in reach and because we use it all the time is our uh, Bissell uh, Dust Buster. Um, this is actually a really good one and uh, we've always been skeptical about the pet hair kind of picker upper things. But this one is actually really good. It's called the Bissell uh, Pet Hair Eras Eraser lithium ion um if these things are available if any of these things are available lynn will link them down below in the description but um yeah this one was less than 30 bucks rechargeable um multiple different attachments um so like it could be like your classic dust buster but this one has like the little wheelie brush thing down in there uh that picks up the pet hair and um uh pixel flash and scout are definitely hairy dogs and um and black yeah white dogs yeah so uh yeah this does a really good job of picking up after them so that's our first one so the next thing is has come in incredibly useful for us every single time we've been on a trip because we don't eat out when we're on trips and we cook in the rv and there are two of us and we're still adjusting to or i should i say i'm still adjusting to cooking for two people and so I usually cook too much. And so we have collapsible. There's actually a fourth one that goes right here. <laughs> it's green, but it's in the, it's dirty. Um, these are collapsible food containers and they are dishwasher safe, which if you're in an RV, it doesn't really matter unless you have a dishwasher. One of those fancy RVs. <laughs> but they're also microwave safe, freezer safe, and refrigerator safe. So they, oh, they go like this and they have the pop top so if you're microwaving something in here the steam can come out they collapse they're silicone with no pba and none of that bad stuff so they're fine to use in the microwave which doesn't apply to us because we don't have a microwave we don't use a microwave so we got rid of it but this is great for keeping any kind of leftovers or if you have fruit that you've started eating which we found and then you need to save the rest of it so they're all different sizes the first two are squares and the other two are rectangles this rectangle is five by seven, and the next rectangle is like four by six. I think that goes um, down. These, this exact set is by Collapse. It is the brand. Um, I can't find this one on. I bought these on Amazon, and I couldn't find them back on Amazon. But I did find a similar set, so I will I'll link those below. And they're under twenty dollars for four with the lids and everything. So, and they don't take up any space because, like you can see. In our we have little teeny cabinets in here and they just stuck like this so these are perfect all right so keeping with the collapsible trend uh our next thing our third thing here is this uh little collapsible strainer um same idea as the other two it just pops open uh it's got a nice hard bottom on it and then this part the green part is the silicone part uh, this is great because Lynn likes to cook pasta and stuff like that. So when we're out on the road and we do spaghettis or if we're washing fruit or something, because uh, I, I have a tendency, I like to eat fruit when I'm driving, uh, like nuts and watermelon and stuff like that. Uh, not nuts, grapes. I grapes. <laughs> yeah, grapes and watermelons and stuff like that. So I just like to snack on that kind of stuff when I'm driving. These are great because I can she can run to the back real quick while, while we're on the road crack open a thing of grapes, rinse them off real quick using one of these. 
or using this one and we're good to go and again uh, under 20 bucks on in, uh, on Amazon we couldn't find this one uh, a lot of the stuff we bought and a lot of you guys know this when you buy stuff on Amazon those vendors kind of cycle things out pretty quickly so we're, we'll find ones that are similar and uh, we'll link those down below we don't have an Amazon affiliate so if you guys are using these links feel free to use them as you want um, you're not like uh, helping anybody or doing anything these are just yeah, ideas. we're not we're not getting money yeah we're from not you guys using our links we're no. just linking them for to be nice to yeah like, so you guys can find these things if you want <laughs> yeah and I mean honestly some of these things you can find it at like you know targets or Walmart's or some of that other some of those other places you can really find them anywhere so there's there's really no we're not trying to push you guys to buy anything obviously so because we don't get anything for it so um, collapsible obviously is the name of the game um, the other collapsible thing that we do have is our dish drainer when we wash dishes. Um, it's actually under the sink, so we're going to pull it out. But you know what a dish drainer looks like. It's collapsible. Same exact width as this strainer when it's collapsed. It's white and gray. Um, perfect because in this Class C, we don't have a lot of storage. It's not like a big Class A where all the cabinets are huge and we have all this storage. So for our little cabinets, having the dish strainer being collapsible, the strainer's collapsible, these are collapsible. You can put many more things in your cabinet that you need in one little cabinet, which is, you know, and they're not heavy, which is also important in an RV. Yeah. And they're yeah, super flexible, so you're not worried about things getting crushed. Yeah, if they fall out of the cabinet, they're not breaking either. <laughs> the next thing that we love, we have in our apartment and in the RV, are our mixed tiles. So these are pictures we've taken on road trips. This is Route 66. This is Route 66 Cadillac Ranch. This is in New Mexico. It's just a really cool bridge in New Mexico. These are eight by eight squares. You can get them with frames or without. We preferred them without, but they do come with black or white frames and they weigh the, about the same as a greeting card. You can take them off the wall and re-stick them anywhere. We actually had these in our house brought them, restuck them in here. They have not moved at all. We've moved the ones in the apartment a couple times. They never move. So these are amazing. And if you look for a deal, you can get them for about six or seven dollars a piece, which seems like a lot. But if you're doing art in your RV, it's going to cost more than that anyway. So these are a great option. No weight, removable. If you want to switch out a picture, like if we have a new picture we really want to put up here, switch it out. No big deal. One of the other things that we really like are these little can holders. So these are obviously meant for like soda cans, pop cans, whatever you want to call them. And uh, these usually go in a refrigerator. Well, we have these in our refrigerator also, but these are great because uh, sometimes you need uh, some refried beans on the road, maybe some, you know, Campbell's chicken noodle soup. And these are great because then they can roll around in here and they, if they need to. Uh, if we got more cans, so like if we go to the back here, there's uh, other soups. So we can always just keep them all in here. And they take up a lot less space than trying to play stack the cans. And they're nice and contained into this area. So as things might be moving back and forth, they always stay put here. You know, with our other stuff, they can also, we can also stack some stuff up high on top of it, our other bins. But these are great just to keep uh, just to keep cans kind of under control as you're driving down the road. And then one of the things that Lynn did uh, a little trick here is they actually come with a little plastic um, piece when they when you sell them to keep the lids together. Well, she kept those on there so that you can't pop the lids off because we didn't want the lids coming off. So you can't take these lids off uh, as that little plastic cell piece is around it. So that's like basically so in the store, you know, nobody tries to separate the lid from the actual bin. Um, that's what uh, that little piece is. And since we didn't want them separating from the bin, we just use that to our advantage. The next thing Jonathan wasn't so sure about, and actually I wasn't either, but a lot of people recommended these and they're Turkish towels. So they have actually a fringe on the bottom. These are bath size and they are longer than an actual bath size towel and they're Turkish towels so they don't when you wash them they don't go in the dryer and when you dry yourself off or take them to the pool or whatever you do with these you hang them to dry and they dry really fast they're also naturally antimicrobial so they don't hold bacteria 
so if you you know if you're out for a while on the road you don't have to um, worry about these getting moldy or smelly or you know bacteria in between washing we have hooks that we just hang them on we have this size we also have hand towels that are the um, also Turkish towels and <laughs> these are by Bursus that's the name of the brand I bought these on Amazon too I'll link them below if they're available Turkish towels are a little more expensive than regular towels but um, we only have we bought four bath towels and four hand towels and for us that's perfect they're great we've used them on the dogs we've used them on us they're amazing and they dry quick Jonathan's still not sure about that <laughs> yeah I used it uh, I've used them a couple times now and I'm getting more used to them but um, you know you see all those like you know the commercials like the you know my pillow commercials you know the my towels and stuff like that and they say oh you know you can use normal towels to line a pool um, these are not those these actually do absorb water really really well when you're drying yourself off it, it just throws me off because it's so thin but it does hold water and um, yeah, yeah they're they're super lightweight and yeah. super thin easy to wash like I said don't put them in the dryer and the more you use them I wasn't sure about this either but it is true the more you use them the softer they get and that has totally been true when we first got them I thought oh my god are we really gonna use these because they felt kind of stiff and cardboardy but the longer we've used them now they're softer than our regular towels at home and the nice thing is again you're saving weight yeah. because these weigh less than half of what a regular bath towel weighs especially when it's wet you know when a bath towel is wet it weighs a yeah. lot and um, these don't when they're wet so these are um, any Turkish towels you can get them anywhere but I got these on Amazon like I said I'll link them if I can you can get them anywhere you can get them at TJ Maxx, Ross, Target like you can get Turkish towels anywhere um, I ordered these on Amazon because I wanted black and white and so yeah these are perfect for this segment you're gonna get a twofer because both of these kind of have to do one with another. So we have our Rove R24K front facing uh, camera and uh, this is great. It records while we're driving down the road and um, I have it set up to record in 2K right now but uh, and I'm sorry about the glare there's kind of a glare up here uh, I don't know if I can kind of I try to use the uh, Reflectix a little bit to uh, to kill the glare but this is great because with uh, everybody that always drives crazy around the motorhome, stuff like that, people cutting us off, people doing things, if it ever got to the situation where I really needed some footage to back up uh, my claim that uh, somebody else did something stupid and cut me off, um, and it's recording in 2K, so we've actually used that footage for some of our videos before, if uh, for, one, for some reason we saw something cool down the road that's always recording as we're driving so that's great so that is the Rove R2-4K uh, dash cam recorder uh, pick that up on Amazon don't really remember how much that one was I think it was about 150 bucks um, with the uh, SD card the next one right next to it is our uh, backup camera and um, I don't remember who makes this one but uh, I will get that information for you guys and we'll link it down below. Uh, but this is great because it actually has two inputs. So right now I have a dash cam that's, I'm sorry, uh, a rear view camera that's sitting at the top of the motorhome looking down towards the back. Um, at some point, maybe when we put a uh, uh, tow vehicle or something like that, I'll do a um, secondary dash cam or a secondary rear view camera down below by the bumper to be able to line up the car and the uh, the motorhome or something like that and I can just switch the input so this is great as we're driving down the road and kind of see who's behind me or uh, while we're camping uh, if there's somebody like something goes bump in the night and I think it's somewhere near our bedroom uh, I can always turn this on and look back there or I can keep it on and we can always see what's going on behind us and then it's also great for when we're backing up Lynn doesn't always have to jump out and help me back up um, unless we're getting into kind of a weird little you know crazy spot because I usually have a pretty good field of view between this and the two side mirrors I can usually uh, navigate pretty much into any any tight little area that I need to so between our dash camera and our rear view camera there's your twofer because 
both of those cameras are really important. Those of you guys that noticed, um, there was also a sticker on the back side of the motorhome the other, uh, the other video that we did when we talked about stickers and stuff like that. Uh, it had the little radio symbol and it said 146.265. That is my ham radio. So this is my uh, tri-band 2 meter 220 440 ham radio or amateur radio that uh, is always sitting here. It, uh, the base unit, this is just the control head. The base unit is actually in another part of the motorhome. And this is uh, 146.520 is the national simplex frequency for those of you guys that were asking what that was. And what that basically means is it is a general calling frequency for all of uh, the amateur radio operators to be able to use to just kind of like give each other a shout while they're traveling, stuff like that. It's a, it's like, um, you know, the old truckers used to use, oh, I think it was like channel 13 or something like that. And, um, which by the way, I have been told by some friends of mine that are in the trucking industry, they still use. So, uh, CB radio maybe be, maybe coming to the, the, the dash here in the future. But, um, for now I just have my trusty ham radio. Um, it's kind of fun because uh, you never know when you're going to run across someone else that's a ham radio operator down the road. So uh, this is the Yesu FTM 350 and um, yeah, it's a great little radio. So if you're an amateur radio person, if you can still find one of these, I highly recommend it. Its replacement is okay. Well, there you go. There's some of our favorite things. We have a lot more favorite things, but we didn't want to do like an hour long video. When we do our RV, complete RV, I can't speak today. Our complete RV tour, which is coming up soon. Um, we will probably talk about some other things that we really like, but those were just things that a lot of people have asked us about on the road or that people um, like family members that have seen the inside of the RV have asked, well, what is that? Like, where'd you get that? And so we thought we would share those things with you. Like we said, in case you're an RVer, part-time or full-time, trying to save weight, trying to save space, trying to keep safe, whatever it is. Yeah, and uh, you know, the safety features of the dash cam and the rear view camera and stuff like that, um, you know, it goes without saying, I think most modern RVs uh, have at least a rear view camera. Uh, most of them also have like side view cameras. Our RV is not long enough really to need the side cameras. Uh, and I kind of personally think it's a little bit more of a, distraction, of a distraction, but the rear view camera was really important to us. And the dash cam was really important to us for safety because if someone's gonna be stupid, I wanna catch them on video because you know, America's funny as home videos. Well, or the fact that everybody blames everybody else for what yeah. happened in an accident in this way we have footage yep. of okay you are the one who screwed up <laughs> yeah exactly you got in front of the big giant moving thing that uh you know it's a it's a giant brick going down the road one thing that it doesn't do is go fast the other thing it doesn't do is slow down very fast so or swerve real well <laughs> or swerve really well yeah for yeah. some reason people think that an rv can swerve out of the way and those of you who have rvs or especially trailers you know that swerving is not no in the list of options <laughs> no no nope, not even a little bit so so i guess that's it for this motorhome monday Thank you guys all so much for being here. We really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm, especially because our video making skills lately have been um, shoddy at best because we're, um, well, the videos have been fine, but our timing of doing videos has fallen off as we adjust to our new schedules, but we're getting there. And our goal in October is not to miss any videos. So um, let's, you know, cross our fingers and hope we can do that <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us either way um we're gonna go whale watching so we gotta go you guys have a great week we will see you on friday stay safe stay healthy enjoy the fall and uh travel often bye guys who knows crazy as life goes that we'll write a story